Alright, hello everyone, Busy Gamer Dad back again. We're going to pick up where we left off after our wonderful uh, fight, absolutely stellar fight uh, for getting Andy's spells. Uh, we had a fight in town to get another level 4 spell, which was Squint, an instant KO spell. I didn't realize it was an instant KO spell. I thought it was uh, the Petrify spell in another, like, you know, turn you to stone kind of thing. But yeah, it was not. It was instant KO, and that was a hilarious episode. I encourage you to go back and watch that if you uh, didn't see that one all the way through. Anyways, we're ready to get our feet uh, into the Earth Dungeon, get ourselves down there and fight the vampire, have a little bit of fun with that. Um... I'm really enjoying the uh, the randomness that seems to be happening with this game. Um, I So I went back through and I read the comments again to make sure I wasn't missing something. And I, I somebody had mentioned that the blue mage needs to use the their mon skill lure ability. And that's what I did. And it just didn't seem to work the way it has intended. Like they need to use the ability and survive the fight. And then they get it. And then... I'm getting some mixed signals on it, so if you have any information on it, please let me know. But I'm under the assumption that that's why we had such a weird and wonky time to begin with, was the fact that I was doing something wrong. So, I do appreciate everyone who's commented and everyone who tells me uh, how to improve the gameplay and how to have a lot of fun with it. It's uh, really endearing, and I like the Final Fantasy 1 Renaissance community for that. Thank you very much for that, if you're re watching this. Thank you very much for... Uh, uh, indulging in watching me for even just five minutes and seeing like, no, this guy's an idiot. I don't want to watch him anymore. But I appreciate it regardless. Thank you very much for your five minutes of your time. Uh, let's do our dad joke before we get too much further into it. Uh, my manager told me to have a good day, so I didn't go into work. There you go. So you can tell your man, if your manager tells you to have a good day, that's basically them telling you to take the day off with pay. You can tell them I told you that was the, what they meant. Um, I'm really liking the new weapons that we got already out of the gate. Uh, Rion, even though he is uh, hitting slightly less, more powerful, he is more reliably, more reliable with his hits, so that in and of itself is huge. Uh, I'm going to save the game outside the, uh, the Earth Cave. Um, and I like that um, uh, we are using the whip graphic. I, I think it's more appropriate for the Tamer, even though he does get a proficiency with axes. Um... Now, if I remember right, we gotta go up and around to get that loot. Yes. Okay, cool. So, uh, if you've never done the Earth Cave before, there is uh, a power leveling spot inside the Earth Cave called the Hall of Giants, which is off to the left. And every square you step in will have giants and or iguanas in it. I think they're called iguanas or gammas. Gammas, I think, might be in the mountain, in the volcano. Um, but uh, it, it's a HP... Uh, firing place or an HP farming place as well as a um, money farming place but you gotta be careful because the Giants uh, at this level I if they focus fire they could easily kill um, probably any of your casters or any of your mid armor uh, characters so like fluffy Andy or busy if they just happen to focus on uh, any of those three uh, Rion should be fine with his uh, iron armor but anyone with a mid-level absorb um, or lower is going to be in trouble. So, oh, that heal, Earth's Embrace heals and does armor up? That's huge! Geomancer OP. That's all I'm going to say. Geomancer OP. Cool. Um, and also, thank you very much for the constructive criticism on repeating myself a little too much when I come into these videos. And I know it's a nasty habit. I am my father's son, where I have to feel I uh, need to say things three times, but... Um, I have to try and do better about that and keep the conversation streamlined. I am not running away from any fights unless I really feel I need to. Uh, there's a lot of reasons for that. One is because I know that we need a lot of money for the spells that uh, Rion will hopefully get access to. And I noticed that he only has two spell slots as opposed to three, which is fine. I mean, that's great. That's less money I have to spend overall. But I also don't want to miss out on a chance to level up um, because I don't know the... We'll say the efficacy of our party here. Uh, this should be an Earth Demon. Yes. Okay, cool. Um, or the... I don't say efficacy. The effectiveness of our party makeup here. Um, we'll have some fun with it regardless and see what comes of it. Uh, especially after the class change. I don't know what kind of uh, craziness that's going to throw into uh, Gain's Earth Spikes. Oh, we get thorns? That's awesome. 
But yeah, I don't know overall what's going to end up happening with uh, how things... 95 damage and took 40... So it's half their damage back. That's pretty good. That's pretty neat. Um, nice. So I got... Uh, so you can also farm this spot here if you wanted to, because this spot will also uh, continuously spawn a Earth Elemental. Sometimes it's two, though. So be very careful. Be forewarned is all I will simply say. Just be forewarned that if you are... Uh, attempting to level up using them. Uh, they are uh, also thick boys and can do a lot of damage, as you can see. Um, 90 damage was no joke. Uh, I don't believe, and I'm not going to try it to waste it, um, but you know what, maybe I will uh, in, a, in a later fight if I feel I'm strong enough to uh, see if I can control the Earth Elementals. I wouldn't say that I could. Um, that seems out of the context of what the tra uh, trainer or tamer can do. Uh, because we haven't been able to tame undead, uh, we haven't also been able to tame any humanoid, uh, monster types like giants or, uh, ogres, and it's only been strictly the monsters that we've been able to tame. So, I'm, I equate the, uh, earth elementals, or earth demons, as that. Elementals or demons. Ah, oh, shoot. We're getting poisoned. Yep. Well, that's why I bought, like, 30 pures. Um, yeah, might as well. Might as well. Might as well. Um, and then, hey, maybe we'll chest out and see if Earth and Brace, uh, breaks off and uh, unsuccessful bummer. Um, they just happen to go first. That's a, a bit of a bummer. But we'll have to see if uh, Earth and Brace can cure poison or cleanse poison. Because that would be super. Or we'll just drop a stalactite on its head. And that's fine. Yes, keep hitting the ones that are already poisoned. Please keep doing that. Please keep doing that. And then, yeah, I'm just going to keep on using Terrain. I'm, well, I might use Earth's Embrace uh, just to heal if I need to. Knowing that that heals and armor up, that's pretty powerful. That's a pretty powerful spell. And I'm glad that uh, they programmed that in for group makeups like this. Uh, so let's cure and let's cure. Actually, does it give me the spells here? It does. That's awesome. Chance to fix slow. Oh, okay. So, okay, chance to fix slow. And just heals and then grants... Okay, cool. Um, oh, can I use magic outside of combat? I cannot use that here. Okay, so I can only use his spell. That would make him a little overpowered, I think. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, going to be interesting. I'm going to try and hold on to the blue mage spells until later in the dungeon here to try and uh, maximize their effectiveness. So, um, they'll just be attacking. I would love to see the Rune Mage get more utility from certain weapons, but again, that's up to, you know, balancing and things like that. We still have some pretty strong spells, I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah, th these are some pretty strong spells. I would like to, to see a little bit more utility from their attacks, though. And maybe you get that at a, after the class change. I'm going to cast one spell just to cast it. Uh, you know what, and then let's do... Yeah, we're all a little hurt. Yeah, let's do that. Earth's Blessing. Let's armor up, because these guys are physical attackers. Not that they're going to do too terrible much to Rion, but they will definitely hurt Fizzy and um, probably hit uh, Fluffy and Andy for, you know, 30 to 40 damage, uh, maybe. Um, given their absorb right now. So, uh, oh, I did, um, I did mention this before. Or someone did mention this to me before about the bracelets and everything like that. I did know that. I just didn't happen to have uh, the copper bracelet or the silver bracelet at the time, but I have gotten those now uh, from the Mystic Key uh, locations, so those are helpful for uh, Busy because he's currently the lowest absorb at the moment, so making sure that Busy stays alive is paramount because they're also our biggest healer as well as our biggest, our only healer in fights, essentially, other than um, uh, using potions. Um, and then hopefully we can get a couple of uh, items that we can use in combat. And I am liking the whip that uh, we got so that it ca uh, has a potential to stun. Because that's super helpful. Should be Earth Demon here. Or two. Yep, Earth Demon singular. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Uh, no, I don't want to do Blood Weapon. Um, you know what? Let's try it. Let's just see what happens. I don't think it will work. I would be very surprised if it works. And yeah, I think we'll... Interesting. Yeah, we'll do terrain. We'll just do terrain. We'll be surprised, is all I'll simply say. Well, I guess I should be using the attacks on him. 
Earth Embrace. So that's good. Get a little bit of damage on him, but he's an Earth Elemental, so it's probably not going to do much. There are Elemental Affinities um, now in the game as well. You can control him. Did not expect that at all. Wow, okay, so lesson learned. Uh, how much bonus experience we get? We get 384 bonus experience. Good golly, that's the way to go. All right, um, did not expect that to happen. We'll have to keep that in mind for the future. Because uh, the Earth Demons, or Earth Elementals, are pretty strong. Uh, nope, I just don't. Just don't. Just don't. Just don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't think these poison. I could be wrong. I think, actually, wait, they do poison. Can't run. Close call. Okay, cool. I just didn't want to have to trudge through that fight. cool um but yeah so I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys here the, the ogres being a humanoid target um they are unaffected by the um was, yeah sure might as well do it uh they aren't affected by the uh control and that makes sense uh, because they're supposedly having a, a we'll say a consciousness whereas in like we'll say dungeon dragons rules animals don't really have a consciousness unless you're a druid and then you can uh, do that but you saw there at the bottom it can't be controlled it was not unsuccessful it can't be controlled and then uh, you know so just don't waste your time if you're in one of these uh monster tile sets where you've got to fight uh humanoid monsters essentially is what it comes down to now that does not equate to the wizards or the sorcerers who can still control them so keep that in mind for yourselves as well because you should be trying to control them to take at least one of those off the board because the sorcerers, the upgrade of the wizards, has uh, death touch. So you could be going on happy hunky dory uh, when you start seeing them up here, and then all of a sudden your tank is just dead. Rion or your warrior or whoever you have in the front is just dead from one hit. So there are death touches in this game still, and they are balanced. They do happen randomly in some cases. I don't know if magic defense is uh, able to counteract them or not, but. Uh, maybe if you know that, let me know in the comments. Uh, let's try that again, because that was a huge grip of experience to get. Um, let's uh, let's do random spells and try and recharge. This is a good fight to do that. Or maybe we'll get it right out of the gate. We got it right out of the gate. Never mind. All right, cool. Found a heal. Found money. Okay, so if I step down here and go out, then I don't have that fight, which is awesome. Cool. Um, yeah, so, uh, now we're gonna get ourselves down into the next level. Down, we have to, we can only go down three floors, uh, and then we'll fight the, um, uh, vampire down there. And he'll be, I'm, mis I'm thinking he'll be a little bit of a pushover, but I'm not gonna say that, you know, too prominently, too confidently, because our party makeup would contain, or, our, for us to do well against that fight, Rion would need to... Um, cast this blood weapon. Well, I guess maybe not, because the vampire's undead, so I don't want to cast blood weapon, because that would end up hurting Rion. I guess, um, my plan for that, thinking forward to it, would be to get down there and fight him with, uh, basically just both barrels. F just fire off all the spells I can from Andy and from, uh, Busy, and then just leave Rion and, uh, Fluffy to do their melee attacks on him. He's got about, I think it's close to 700 health or so, so he's definitely going to be a multi-round fight. Um, he's definitely the thickest boss that we'll have fought to date. Oh no, these guys all poison, and I don't want to deal with you. Let me just run. Yes, awesome. Cool. Um... Yeah, so that's my plan going forward. Now, going into here, we're going to have bats, and we're going to get ourselves into the, uh, the maze, quote-unquote. I, I call this the maze. Uh, do I want to fight these guys? Yeah, let's fight them. Let's fight them, because we can get some experience from them. A fair, good, a fair amount of experience, honestly. Um, even if we get poisoned, it's fine. You know, we have those for a reason. We might as well bring them. Uh, you'll notice that everybody's doing um, two hits, which is great. Uh, everyone who I have melee attacking is doing two hits, which is awesome. Um, 
your hit percentage needs to be at 32 for two hits, 60, or maybe it's 62 for three hits, um, and then it's like 80, or is it 90 for four hits? So don't quote me on that, or if you do know, please let me know, and uh, then I will stop spouting misinformation. But I do know that it's um, 32 for two hits, and then I believe it's 60 for um, for three hits. All right, so let's get ourselves over here, down here, go over this way, go up and around, through here, we're gonna get some bit of loot as soon as we push this bat out of the way. Oh no, gargoyles! They're a fair amount of experience, so it's not a terrible fight to take. Did I get a recharge in spells? I did. Cool. So let's do Earth and Grace and damage. Um, and oh, thank you very much for the person who commented on uh, treating the enemies a little bit like Pokemon with the trainers, um, because or tamers. I keep calling them trainers because I equate it to Pokemon now. Um, where if you damage them, the lower on health they are they tend to be easier to tame or to control. So keep that in mind if you do want to run a tamer. Uh, that the If you weaken them, they are easier to control or cast the control spell on. But subsequently, it's also easier for the enemies to target them and destroy them. So yeah, be careful. That's all I'll simply say. Oh, we're supposed to, yeah, you get a little bit of a heal and armor up. That's nice, that's good. I'm hopeful that in um, the late game, the other dungeons all seem to have that uh, mechanic. That would be super helpful for us, uh, especially in uh, Tiamat's uh, Air Fortress, because that's a bit of a long haul dungeon. Oh, hey, level up. Nice. Int magic defense. Okay, a little bit of a light level up, but that's okay. And Busy is the only one who gained a level because he's the only one who survived our uh, attempt to get more spells for Andy. Sword. Let me. I don't know who can actually use that. You can. Okay, great. So let's see. Andy can. I don't believe it's going to be super helpful here because yeah, aquatic. Okay, so we don't need to worry about that right now. All right, this cabin and, and money. Nice. All right. And, oh, there's a bat walking away. And we'll get ourselves down and out of this floor. Uh, no, I don't want to fight this. I don't want to fight this. I don't want to fight this. You can't make me. See, told you, you can't make me. My manager told me to have a good day, so I'm not going into work. Um, no, uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go around. We're, we're actually in a pretty healthy position right now. So let's go around and get that, because I don't want to come back down here just for that. So we'll come around here and get this. I want to make sure that I try and get as much as I can on a single pass, as it, it makes things a lot easier. Um, single foam mineral shell, earth spikes. Uh, you know what? They're all pretty much melee attackers. Might as well do it. If you can get the spell off before they all attack, that's great. And stunned. Nice. I'm already. This whip is already paying for itself with the damage mitigation that it's doing. That's super helpful. I do love the, uh, the, we'll say the hit graphic for the Death Knights where they're literally just spinning. And then they just drop the sword like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like guts from uh, Berserk. If you've seen that anime, it's a pretty dark anime, so it's not for younger viewers, but it's a, uh, it's a pretty, uh, and also it's a gold, it's a, it's a gold standard for my opinion on like dark animes. Like it was a really well done dark anime. A little bit of a graphic glitch there. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. But yeah, uh, Berserk was a pretty cool anime to watch. Kaven, we don't have that spell in our repertoire. Oh, I didn't realize it casts spells that you don't actually have. All right, so if I count 250, that's not bad. That's a big level up game. That's 26 points. And then, okay, magic defense up. Magic defense. Well, that's a big level up for Fluffy. All the stats. And then only four. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Not a bad level up by any standard, but um, definitely Rion got some really good uh, HP. Fluffy got some pretty good um, uh, stats and some HP. Uh, let's have him cast control again, and then have you... 
yeah, so let's just uh, heal up, because we got to level up. Might as well. And if we get the uh, control, then... Nope, not weak enough. So there, I, that's what I missed before with the message flashing that, you know, not weak enough was there. Wow, that Earth Elemental still whacked Rion for quite a bit of health. So I gotta be super careful. I think I might splurge if I ever have the opportunity. I think we'll get him this time anyways, but I think I might splurge and get Rion the, um, the Knight's Armor if I can't. I don't remember if I get that from a chest or not. 64 cheaper, so much damage. Recharge spells, that's awesome. And then this should, yep, see, so there we go. Nice, and then we get bonus experience, which is great. All right, and then we'll have to fight that same fight going out, so I'm gonna heal now. And we're also probably gonna fight a few things in here. Uh, oh, we'll hold off. And then wooden shield, not worth it, money. And more money, more money. All right, cool, now we'll fight this again. So I guess I could be casting Blood Weapon. Yeah, I guess I could be doing that. Um, let's try it, let's just do that. That way we're not, uh, not, we'll say, misusing a turn. Because if we get the charm, or I say charm, if we get the control, then the fight's over anyways. Okay, cool. Critical hit, good stuff. I like drop a drop a rock on his head, literally drop a sharp rock on his head, and then we'll have him hit. And also, now that he's got the higher hit percentage, I'm, I'm, I'm I should be casting blood weapon all every turn but one with him. We'll just we'll just finish him off, so I can try and get a heal out from uh, Rion and his blood weapon. Dead? No, not dead. Oh. Stun more off. Okay, cool. But you should be dead. Yes, excellent. And some good HP back. Nice. Cool. And now we're into another fight. That is a lot of gargoyles. I just don't want to. I just don't want to. That's a lot of damage. Um, run, run. Let's see if we can get it. Yes, awesome. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. As a point- oh, I was just gonna check it. Oh, yay, our first bull! Yay! It's Rion for only two damage, so we're not afraid of the bull. Uh, I wonder if we can control this guy. I wonder if he has any blue mage spells. I don't think he does, or would. I don't think he does any magic. But, I don't know, maybe in Renaissance he does, like, a rage ability or something like that. Oh, nope, he did. Okay, so, I was just curious. Let me see the stats real quick. 16. So he has 16 agility. 7. 13. 15. Okay. Or, no, he has 10 agility. Okay. Alright. Cool. Alright. Cool. Don't go up. Don't go up. Oh, you went up. Don't go up. Well, you have to go up now. You're locked. Good. Get out of the way. Awesome. Alright, sorry. So we'll get ourselves down. Oh, you jerk. Ay ay ay. Alright, cool. So um, yeah, we'll try and have to we'll have to oh no. Yeah, we're gonna get poisoned. We're just gonna we're just gonna get poisoned. It's just the fact of life right now. Yep. That's okay. I make peace with that. That's why we brought the pures and the curatives. Uh I think I might have to fight them. I think they might be too. Let's run, run, run. Skill terrain. Let's see if you can do heals or something. Or just drop a rock on one and kill it. That's fine. Can't run. Come on. Close call. Okay, cool. That's not terrible. Alright, and then we'll use our pure stash. There we are. Cool. Awesome. Not terrible. I came prepared. This time, anyways. Alright, so in that room up there is where our vampire buddy's gonna be, but we're gonna take a quick look around and pick up some other stuff. Mummies, these should paralyze us. I don't think we're gonna be able to control them. Um, 
Let me scorch them. They should be weak to um, fire damage. So 14 should be like 30. Yeah, so 24, 30. Yeah, okay. Oh, 38. That's pretty good. Okay. I think they've got about 100 health. Cannot be controlled. Okay, so again, humanoids, but I, I maybe it's also because they're undead. That's why they can't be controlled. Embrace, so that should be... Oh, it's not going to finish them off? Okay, cool. Yeah, so about 100 health. That makes sense. Asleep? Yep. Okay, not stun. Okay, as they, they put you to sleep. Gotcha. Okay, cool. They still hit you pretty hard. And I do like that... Uh, you, you saw it just act out right there. Play out right there. That your... If you put someone to sleep and you hit them, they wake up. No matter what. So... There are certain synergies, someone pointed this out, in a party makeup that just do not work. Um, such as, like, uh, the Red Mage's um, uh, uh, status affecting stuff may not synergize with the Bard always waking people up with their AoE spells. And the Bard does have AoE spells, so they're actually quite useful in that regard. They do spread out damage quite a bit. So keep that in mind um, if you're uh, making a, or remaking a party, doing New Game Plus or something like that for yourselves. Not a bad fight. Let's see how much we get for that. I think they're pretty... Yeah, they give you a lot of money. That's good. Pretty good for the monies. Found a tent. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, and then we're gonna go up, and we're gonna go around to the right-hand side. I th yeah, we'll get ourselves this nice loot over here. I don't believe there's anything up top. Wizards! You are nothing to me now. Actually, I think I can control you pretty, pretty easily. You fight and then we got our spells back so I kind of want to heal and do that in case we get focused they still hit for a lot though now that sucks two hits for 75 damage is a lot but then the other one was like 14 44 jeez I'm so glad I cast that yeah, but we can one shot you take that and we controlled your buddy. Take that. Nice. Awesome. Okay, cool. So, let's... I don't believe they have magic. Yeah, I didn't... I, I, I controlled them before. I just never remember what they have or don't have. There's a lot of things to relearn in this. So, let's uh, cast Terrain and hopefully we can recharge spells. But they're dead anyway, so it's not a big deal. Cool. Awesome. 69 bonus experience. I'm going to drop a few heals for Fluffy. So they can uh, feel a little bit better about their life choices on coming along in this party. Of course. Poison. Poison? No, double hit. Okay, cool. Um, Sure, might as well fight him. We might as well fight him. Uh, and then, oh, a little bit of a graphic glitch there with the uh, text box staying on the screen. Not a big deal, though. Still having. I, I think this is a great game. So even with the graphical glitches, I will continue to play it. Awesome. Cool. Should be dead. Nice. Gonna get controlled. No. Hey, we did it. Nice. Cool. We should be able to finish that off and we'll get the bonus experience. Good. So any fight that I feel I can do in one round it, it typically is ones that I try and do. Um, and I say typically because there's gives and takes to that statement, you know, such as like, is it going to be a war of attrition? Am I going to get bonus stuff from doing the fight? Mage Mash. I don't think that anyone will really benefit from that. No one can use it, so it doesn't matter. Yep, no one can benefit from it, so my statement still holds. Uh, let's control, and then, yeah, do the things. Do all the things. Oh my god! That was a plot twist. That just happened. Now I have a choice to make. To run out. Crimson Sword. Oh. Is this any good? Minus 25. No, it's not that good. Now I have a choice to make. To run out and heal him. All the way back at Cornelia, where we're so close to getting to the- Oh my goodness. I'm not- I don't want him to get even further behind in HP. Or uh, XP. 
Run, run away. Run away. I don't want to fight this. We lost our healer, so that's also the reason why I don't want to fight this. You're gonna make me fight this. Fine. I, I tried to let you live. Oh man, that just came out of nowhere. That Earth Demon just destroyed Busy for 30 more than his max health. Oh my gosh, I did not expect that to happen. Uh, is this even still possible with everybody the way they are? I think it is. Uh, let's continue on our way and see. Yay! Alright, let's see what's in here. Earth Elemental, I'm sure. Yep. Um, yeah, we'll have to control and then fight it and see what happens. So that, uh, that can happen, it seems. Um, more par for the course on making sure you have someone who can cast life. I, I saw on the Discord that some people were talking about including a, um, a life spell or a life item. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it. Well, I should say I have mixed feelings about it because I am a purist for the game. And when I did the playthrough, oh, geez, we could get stun locked to death. When I did the playthrough for the Pixel Remastered and they included um, Phoenix Downs, it felt like cheating. It felt like one of the main reasons to bring uh, the Earth Bell. Okay, cool. Not to bring the Earth Bell and the Arcane uh, Lance, I'm assuming. Um, let me see, can anyone use those? Oh, Geomancer Bell. Okay, cool. Um, I thought the Bard might use that. Um, no one can use the Arcane Spear, right? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Um, but it, it feels like cheating, is what I'll simply say, because it's not in the truest spirit of what the Final Fantasy 1 experience was. Now, that's my personal opinion of it, where it feels like it's taking away from a certain level of challenge that was uh, there and pressing for the uh, game when I played it. In when I did the Pixel Remastered, it felt very, I don't want to say cheap, but it felt very marginalized in a lot of ways because I didn't have that, uh, that same pressure to, you know, walk down into the uh, Earth Cave and you know, if I lost a party member, that meant I had to go through this one person down, and could I do it? You know, as you case, case in point here, and Busy's gonna get so far behind. Yep. We'll need the level up, so because this, we'll see if we get just destroyed. All right, those are good level ups. Those were some really good level ups on some money. All right, cool. Um. Yeah, like. That's just my opinion on it. So take it or leave it. Up to you. All right, so now from here, I'm not gonna cast any of these lower level spells on the vampire, so I might as well use them here. And then uh, hopefully we'll be able to control one of, oh, they're probably, they have probably strong magic defense. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, we did control one though, that's good. Yeah, I'm already liking the fact that I have the Silver Sword equipped, just because it's um, super useful for just reliable hits. So I think that's more of the net positive for it. Alright. A little bonus experience. We'll walk ourselves in here, and then we will heal everybody to full regardless. And then we're gonna swing for the fences and destroy this guy, I hope, in like two turns. All living things were born to die. No one can defeat me, the vampire! Alright. Um. Can I hold him? Maybe? I don't wanna even try doing that. And then. Is he gonna be weak against fire? I don't want to bother wasting... Well, you know what? Sure. Let's see. I don't care. Ineffective. Okay, cool. 89 damage. Good, great, 
Googly moogly. Instant dead? Ineffective. Okay, cool. So now you know. Now you know for your playthroughs. Alright, so I'm gonna do that. And then, oh, why do I keep on trying to cast spells with you? Magic, and then... Uh, yeah, just blast him with cold damage. 53. Okay, cool. So he's resistant to cold. Good to know. 6 damage. Dazzle. Paralyzed. Alright, hey, that's fine. I'll take that. Ineffective. He's not affected against bio? Really? I thought that would hurt him. Huh, fair enough. Uh, let's... You don't need blood weapon. You don't need that. And we gotta wait for Andy to stand on his feet. Paralyzed. He's gotta roll a saving throw. Two hits. Dazzle. Yep, keep on doing that. Just you keep on dazzling Andy with all your tricks. Terminated. Good. Awesome. So I guess he doesn't have as much HP as I thought he did. Interesting. I didn't know you could do that. I didn't even get monster lure out. Or skill lure. That's awesome. Yes! Excellent. Andy learned Dazzle. That's super cool. And then we got the ruby. Yep. All right. Busy Gamer Dad, going to call the episode here. I'll bring us back in when I walk myself out of here. Hopefully I don't die and muck it up or anything like that. But Dazzle's a level six spell. We don't even have a charge for that yet. Awesome. All right, well, like, comment, subscribe if you feel so inclined. We'll pick up this episode when we turn in the ruby and talk to the sage and get the rod and all the fun stuff like that. Thank you very much for stopping by. We'll catch you then.